Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Honeyoy Falls, New York, where the weather is feeling more like January than March. It's not the first time it happens. Anyway, I wanted to discuss Patriots and Tyrants today. Uh, I recently saw a message, um, a messenger or whatever it is. I get all these services mixed up. There's so many of them now. How can you tell? What they're called, even. Uh, but it's from somebody close to me who said that Trump was a tyrant because he didn't lock people up soon enough. In fact, he didn't lock anybody up at all. The states did that. I was utterly aghast. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Uh... No, Trump is not a tyrant. Uh, Trump is a patriot. Now, locking people down... I get the fact, you know, I about freaked out when they did lock us down. I'd never heard of such a thing. And it's over some overgrown flu from China. Disgusting. But what I found is, especially among common liberals, is that it's a pretty common uh, thing to actually think that lockdowns are good. I've been screaming my heads off, head off by them ever since they started. I said this is a takeover by global communists. I stand by that. We were locked down by Andrew the Tyrant, otherwise known as Andrew Cuomo, the so-called governor of this state. He has now been stripped, by the way, of his emergency powers by the New York legislature. It's apparently just a symbolic move, and it's not going to have any beneficial effects uh, to the common folk. I guess that they figured they had to take some kind of action against him because of all the scandals, one of the scandals he has going uh, is um, the nursing home scandal where he had a whole bunch of deaths, and which is fraud, and his uh, skirt chasing. He has three women after him so far. So I figured they had to do something, and I've heard it's just symbolic, it's not really going to affect us out here on the street. It's not going to get masks off our face, or anything like that. You know, I'm regularly watching some mask bots uh, with a mask, their masks on, and I'm just utterly appalled. I have to wear them in the store and stuff, I sing my little jingle when I get out of the store as a protest song. You get a lot of strange looks. I also get a compliment or two every now and then. So, let's talk tyrants. Trump is a patriot. He did what he could in the middle of a A rather suspicious fraudemic. I call it a fraudemic. I don't call it pandemic. And let's see what Biden did. You know, Trump before all this started was long jobs to be created. I won't say creating jobs. Trump was. Uh, <clears throat> Long jobs be created by eliminating regulations and freeing people up. And the American left couldn't stand that. So along comes the fraud demic, and all of a sudden those jobs go away en masse. Thanks to uh, tyrants like Andrew the Tyrant, Gretchen Whitmer of was it Michigan, I lost track. 
he was a tyrant, knew some, so on and so forth. Now, I do want to make a shout out to uh, DeSantis and Greg Abbott of Florida and Texas. They freed up their states. And Governor of South Dakota, Christy of. Uh, now, what's her name? Anyway, uh, Governor of South Dakota never did lock her, her state down. Christy Nome, I think it is. It's a weird name. Well, I want to say, you know, very well, very good governor, so uh, thank you for being on side of freedom. Now, along comes uh, Joe Biden. And what happens? Within 24 hours, he wipes out tens of thousands of jobs by doing away with Keystone XL pipeline. Uh, you don't call that a tyrant? And what he would have you believe is that there's all these high-paying green jobs out there for these workers just to go to work. Well, I heard one on the radio saying, this is all I know how to do, and he took my job away from me. Quite right. Um, you don't call that tyranny? Biden is a true tyrant, but he's not actually in charge. We're actually in a very serious situation here. We still have, I don't know how many National Guard troops are still sitting in Washington, D.C., occupying it. This is a nasty situation. The word I'm hearing is that Susan Rice, of all people, is actually in charge. I don't know. And Biden uh, apparently wanted to throw more than a million more people out of work by raising minimum wage to $15 an hour. Well, that fix, that's a great idea. Everybody should make that. Well, no. Here's a, here's a little clue for you uh, liberals out there. Here's how this works. Company, any company relies on cash flow. And you have a certain amount of cash flowing in. And some of that, most of that cash actually goes to uh, payroll. What's known as a payroll account, one or more, or whatever, depending on the company. And those employees are paid out of that payroll account. If there isn't enough cash flow uh, coming into the company, then that payroll isn't going to be met. When you raise minimum wage $15 an hour, uh, a lot of people are not going to have uh, jobs anymore because the companies can't afford to pay them. That's the way it is. You see, uh, Mr. Commie Liberal, uh, these companies, especially small businesses, they're having a hard time making ends meet to start with. That money is not magical. It doesn't come magically out of some rabbit hole or something. The money that they pay out for payroll, a lot of them have trouble making it. And I've seen this for myself, the boss's own paycheck going in the bottom drawer so he can make payroll for everybody else. I've seen that before. That's the way it works. Uh, and Biden will say that, well, there's all these green jobs waiting for him. These people, there'll be all something we don't have to worry about. Wrong. Uh, these so-called high-paying green jobs are mostly just scams. Uh, but we have another problem with green jobs so-called green jobs, so they're mostly subs subsidized by government. i give you a little clue, that's uh, like printing money, basically. 
bad news. In other words, they don't produce wealth the way uh, fossil fuels uh, do in basically coal, oil. They don't produce wealth the way those jobs do. So you have to create wealth in order to be able to you know, show profit and when you create wealth the money means something. The workers money is worth something simply because they've uh, been working and making they've been making money creating wealth instead of just sucking off the public uh, teat. The green jobs are mostly suck off public teat type jobs. So it's almost most of these are basically welfare state jobs if they're available. And these people, you know, these people in their communities with XL pipeline and other pipelines that they want to shut down, they're they're reliant on this wealth being created. That's the way it's you know, always been in this country. You create wealth. And people get paid, they make a living. Most of them get, you know, go to their graves, never having been famous or anything. There is a song by Lisa Stanley called Famous in a Small Town. I kind of like that. But anyway, they go to their graves not being famous or anything, but at least they go there as proud Americans. And Biden, who was a tyrant, has taken that away. Uh, he doesn't want you to be a proud American, living your life, enjoying things. None of these, most of these Democrats don't want that. They want you locked up. They're even talking about, one CNN analyst, analyst was talking about keeping people locked up every fall for the seasonal flu. This is about social control. What are they talking about? Uh, these things? It gets dirty. Uh, it gets dirty because I paw at it constantly. It drives me nuts all day long. And it robs me of my breath. But what are they talking about? Lockdowns or masks? Or Deborah Starving Place Burks? This is tyranny. I've been screaming my head off about the lockdowns uh, for a long time, and what I've learned through reading messages is that liberals don't think that think that Trump should have locked people up immediately when he heard about this uh, virus. Sorry, that's not our way. We're not supposed to be living in North Korea. And that's exactly what these tyrants on the left want to turn us into. North Koreans. And Kamala Harris, that is a wicked, wicked woman. She has a... I don't know, she, she has a reputation like I've never seen. And I like to compare her with Elizabeth Mathery, who was a communist in Hungary and did something that uh, Harris wouldn't do. She used to uh, kill virgins and bathe in their blood. Nice lady. But Kamala Harris is just about as evil as that. So, what did Thomas start? The point here is that uh, Biden is a tyrant. Trump is a patriot. That's the difference between them. But the wicked, wicked press has turned that all around and is claiming Biden is a patriot, even though he's throwing people out of work right and left. There's talk of closing more pipelines. Our gas prices are rising rapidly. He's a tyrant. 
and Trump is a patriot. That's the way it is. So I'm going to ask you, do you know what Thomas Jefferson said? I'm going to wrap it up with this. Do you know what Thomas Jefferson said about patriots and tyrants? Listen up, you libs. The tree of liberty must be refreshed periodically with the blood of patriots and tyrants. It is its natural manure. I didn't say that. Thomas Jefferson said that. I'm going to close on that. I'm on Facts of Mars. Oh boy. You lives with something.